Good morning, it's Friday. Belief is a weird concept. As a South Floridian who is only a few hours drive away from Disney World, it's odd that I've only been there on two occasions. The first was with my aunt or a friend of the family so close she may as well have been. I was 14 or so and I remember enjoying it, especially Splash Mountain, if only for the temporary relief of the thick in the air heat that seemed to dominate the park. The second time, we'll get to. My parents, a few different times in our childhood, when money was saved up and we could afford a rare trip out of town, would pose a similar question to my sister and I each few years, Disney World or a local convention. We always went with the conventions. Somehow Disney World always seemed plastic, as Green describes it in this chapter. I never trusted the costumes and the animatronics and the flashiness of Disney World, but a slightly dingy convention center filled with nerds? That I could believe in, even at 10. I don't believe in things very easily. I believe in the idea of America, I suppose. I think the Founding Fathers were onto something, most of them anyway, and I'm willing to look at their actions through a historical lens and not throw out all their ideas based on the worst practices of their time. But I also believe that belief requires criticism, holding old ideas to higher standards, criticizing the foundation of our belief to improve them, to build on top of them. Disney World, and especially the Hall of Presidents, seemed like the opposite of that idea to me on the first trip I took. Above all, to be an American is to be an optimist, says the 45th's unconvincing synth replicant today, which I have thankfully never seen in person. Our presidency is no longer just an idea, it is an idea with a proud history. There's not just more the histories attached to the presidency than a proud one. There's a grim responsibility, a weighty office we ought to send only our best to, and the same goes for the Congress. Green ends this chapter by pondering that we cannot imagine a better world using the institutions in place without questioning why those institutions want us to believe in certain things at all. And I agree. I would also say that I believe in America, in the worthwhile of the presidency, of the republic, of fighting tyranny, of seeking better lives for a fellow man, whatever forms their shackles are in, literal or financial or ideological. Logical. That is American democracy to me, getting better, but it is exhausting to look the evils of that belief in the eye. The second time I went to Disney World, I was in high school, performing and learning from some of the most talented singers I'd ever meet, as part of a special high school choir field trip. I remember after the performance walking through the chilly, for South Florida, that is, December evening in front of Magic Kingdom itself, wandering through the Starbucks, decked out in the gaudiest but also nicest Christmas decor I'd ever seen, sipping a coffee and chatting with dear friends, and I was so happy. I'm happy now thinking about it. I believe in that night. I guess a part of me believes in Disney, in America, and maybe it has to, for a moment at least. So we have the energy to properly reckon with just how awful they both are and how great they could be. I give the Hall of Presidents and Disney World overall three and a half stars, which is more than it deserves. But belief is a weird concept. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on Friday.